Let's talk about some of the small things that you can be doing to build rapport faster. Some of these things you can try like tomorrow if you want to. No way. But let's get started. This first one I find really interesting because it really shows that you are connecting with the other person. And you do this by building on their answers. I want you to pay attention to Daniel's question and then Tom's response. You can see the comic timing in your Spider-Man films. For me, I, 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 it's, it's clear as day that how you hit the lines and how it hit, like hit it with levels, you know, and so... I... By building on their response, it shows that you have given it some thought and you are genuinely engaging with what they have to say. Here's another example. And I, I think Alison had a moment on set when there was a story that she had to say and the thing, and she had that because she's invested in it. The stakes are high and we're putting our rule in and we put all our ideas. When you include others with what you're saying, it feels like you guys are actually on the same team and they're also being appreciated for the things that they have contributed to the conversation. Small but extremely effective, right? Hey, it's Augustus here and if you have found what you've seen so far to be helpful in some way, please hit that like button. Now, what you don't do is just as important. And I'm talking about not trying too hard. Personally, I've done this too many times. Sometimes you really just want to lean back and just chill. Have you come in? Yeah, no, it's cool. It's that, I like that, man. It's more, it's more vibes. Man. Yeah, like exactly. Get to see that you're sipping on a matcha latte come as well. Come on, man. You know, it's oat milk. <laughs> you know? you, you the... So don't try to over explain or over justify every small thing that you do. If you can feel yourself being a little too invested in the outcome, pull back and disengage for a little bit. Don't try to mess things up by doing a little too much. More isn't always better. Now another thing you can do to build rapport is get the other person to share their experiences so you can have a chance to connect with them. Listen to how Daniel is trying to understand how Tom is feeling through his question. So you're Spider-Man, right? Let's keep it, let's let the elephant in the room. Uh, what's that? <laughs> What's that like? Come on, you're all rolling. Like, how has your life changed in a real way? Not like, like you're really putting yourself in their shoes and try to feel through their experience as they share. And then afterwards, bam, there is your report because you have just understood that other person's experience. Now, this last one, I want to be a little more careful because this could go really wrong really quick. This is sharing interesting and unpopular opinions about yourself. And partially because we don't really know what offends other people. So I guess to be safe, it's probably good to stay close to the topics that are really just meaningful to you. 59%. It's the win rate of uh, Moneyball. Moneyball, the yeah. Oakland A's team. Uh, I'm obsessed about the book and the film and I read the script and I've read the book, everything. And it's it. Or you could share interesting concepts, life lessons, or realizations that you have. It's about suspense, you yeah. know what I mean? And like, um, bringing fear to things that are just naturally everywhere, you know, so then like, mm. so then someone can take it after the film, go, oh my God, yeah, that cloud or this. By sharing these quick differences and opinions about yourself, it's a really quick way for you to show that you're genuine about wanting to connect with the other person. And now the other person gets to secretly judge you. Yeah, that, that doesn't sound very good, does it? But it does make you stronger. So let me know what you guys think. And here's some of my other videos that you can go and check out.